Hey, what is up everybody? This is Rob and today we are going to be doing even more modifications to my 2022 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road. So this is a really easy and straightforward one guys, but I just thought that you guys might still want to see it. And admittedly, this is more on the tactical side than anything else. So I wanted to change up my fog lights a little bit. I do have the OEM LED fog lights, so I figured, hey, let's make them look just a little bit cooler. So as you can see, I did change them up a little bit. So as you can see on this side, these are the OEM. And on this side, these are the same OEM ones, but I did add a film to them. So I want to talk about a great company. They are called Laminex. They've been in the game for a while. Their main thing are, you know, headlight film protectors, those kind of things, basically like PPF, but you can buy them from their website already pre-cut and everything. Then all you have to do is install them. Usually a nice and easy process. So I went ahead and saw that they do have fog light coverings for my OEM fog lights. They also do have them for the other fog lights that the Tacomas have, such as the Bridges Industries ones that the Tacoma TRD Pros have. But for me, I just needed the basic fog light coverings. So this is the yellow film that I bought. They do have the film in different colors, but I just wanted the yellow. Guys, it's a really nice film, really good and thick, will also help protect your fog lights. Definitely do recommend it. So now we're gonna go over the install and just any final thoughts you have about it. And also, if you guys do want the same film or anything else from Laminex, I do have a code below. It is by clicking on my affiliate link, then you will get the code, and then you will be able to get a discount on any Laminex products you want. So now let's go ahead and let's get to the install. All right, you guys, so I am off camera right now. I just wanna go ahead and show you guys how to do this part. So here's the thing. Some people, when they do apply the film, they don't remove this covering. However, I think it's just a lot easier. You have a little bit more room to work. So you're gonna to wanna to remove this. You just pry it off, just use a trim tool. Now here's the thing, guys. These clips are very brittle. There's a chance you may snap one. On both fog lights when I did the install and the test run, the clip on this side actually ended up snapping. It still snaps in just fine, guys. If you need a replacement covering, they're about 20 to $30 to buy a replacement one OEM, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So we're just gonna go remove that. So I'm just gonna start on this side. And there we go. Now we can have a much easier time installing the film. All right, you guys, so off camera, I just went ahead and cleaned off the fog lights, make sure everything is good and clean. You wanna go ahead and peel off the applicator. Really easy, guys. So the nice thing is also that you don't have to cut anything, I noticed. You know, you can kind of just tuck in the, um, just tuck in any extra part, and then you won't even be able to see it when you install it. So here we go. So what you're gonna do is just get the middle on first. So just make sure to line it all up just right. You just wanna make sure that that is pretty much on, on the spot. And uh, that's pretty good right there. So now just press on in the middle. Now here's the nice easy part guys. This is also why I said, you know, go ahead and remove the covering because now you have plenty of room to just poke all around. Now see this guys? Just go ahead and poke at it all around. Make sure that the outer edges don't stick on just yet, not until you get to that part because you do just want to be sure that everything is good. So just smooth it out. They do say in instructions to go in a sort of a spiral direction, which you can also do. If you do get any small air bubbles, this film is supposed to be pretty breathable. So then over time, they will work their way out, which is great. I'm just gonna take my time on this over here, guys. All right, so far looking good. So far looking really good. So top is done. So now we're just gonna smooth out towards the bottom. So, all right, so doing good. Looks spectacular. All right. 
And yeah, let's just go ahead and smooth out the outsides. Now, you can remove these tabs. I'm just, I just fold them in. Figure it out way if I ever do need to remove this. I can just use those tabs. I don't have to peel at it with my fingers. Yeah, looks pretty good, guys. So now let's go ahead and let's pop the cover back on real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and just pop this in. So as you can see, I had mentioned that the tabs might break. So this tab right here has broken, but that's okay. It's still gonna go in just fine. So put that in there. And there we go, guys. Looks real good, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on now so we can see how it looks. And we'll just get some of my closing thoughts. All right, you guys, so I'm currently sitting in my Tacoma. I just wanna show you guys how it looks with the fog lights off right now. So as you can see, the yellow film does look really cool. It's not too overly cheesy yellow or anything. Looks just right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on. And definitely looks cool, guys. I really like how it looks. Of course, like I said, it is more to have the cool thing than anything, but I really like it. So now we're gonna go ahead and let's go to my closing thoughts. All right, you guys, so as you can see, everything looks great, guys. As you saw, the install definitely wasn't hard at all, guys. You just have to take your time with it. You know, if you do get any small air bubbles, Laminex does say that their material is breathable and it will be able to work itself out in a few days. Usually with this kind of stuff, they say park your car in the heat for a while, you know, put it on the sun or something, because then that heat will help work the bubbles out even more. In terms of if you have to remove it to reapply it, maybe you messed up, you wrinkled a corner or something, apparently you do have a day or two before the adhesive really gets into you know, the fog light, and then when you try to remove it, you'll end up ruining the adhesive. But I do recommend, of course, just trying to get it done right the first time, because with this kind of stuff, if you do peel it off too much, you might end up stretching out the plastic. That just might make things a little bit worse. So do be careful about that, guys. Overall, the Laminex, great product. They do also sell coverings for their headlights as well. Variety of makes and models, guys, not just Toyotas, not just Tacomas. So you check them out. And remember guys, if you do want any of their products, go down below, there's a referral link. Go to that referral link, you will get a coupon code to get you discounts on laminex.com. So you could buy this film or anything else you want. Doesn't have to be this film, whatever you want from Laminex, I will get you that coupon code so that you do get a discount on it. So with that guys, if you guys have any other questions about the install or anything at all, you know, do let me know. I do enjoy, uh, you know, putting out these videos, modifying my Tacoma, and being able to put out product reviews for you guys. So please let me know what you guys think. And with that, guys, as usual, like, comment, subscribe. And with that, this is Rob, and have a good one.